What is concurrency? Now imagine you're at a theme park. You've got five friends, one ride, and a mutual agreement not to queue. Instead, you each run off and do different things. Snack, toilet, merch, flirt with the person dressed as a wizard, whilst constantly checking your phones to regroup once the ride is clear. Now that's concurrency. In computing terms, concurrency is what happens when a program doesn't just sit and do one thing at a time, like a Victorian butler. Instead, it tries to juggle several things at once. Not truly simultaneously, unless you've got multiple cores, but it gives that illusion by rapidly switching between tasks faster than a toddler on blue Smarties. Say you're loading a web page. Your computer is fetching the HTML, downloading five different fonts you'll never notice, decoding a video ad, ignoring your pleas to close the tab, and playing your lo-fi beats to study all concurrently. It's like a dinner party where everyone speaks at once, but somehow dessert still shows up, and on time. Now this is where it gets tricky, just like your mates at the theme park. If someone doesn't message the group chat when they're ready, the plan collapses. In software, that's called a deadlock, when tasks wait on each other endlessly, like me waiting for my friends to text me back. Concurrency is powerful, but it needs coordination, like a flash mob, or synchronized swimming. Without it, everything falls apart. With it, your computer becomes a time-sharing, multitasking wizard that somehow makes Netflix run while downloading 400 gigabytes of game updates and still finds time to crash Excel. So next time you alt-tab through 12 applications, like a caffeinated squirrel, give a little nod to Concurrency, the unsung hero that keeps the chaos just barely functional. Unless it's a Windows update day, then it's less Concurrency and more practical magic. More of this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.